Hello and welcome, or welcome to a game that I have been waiting for for a while now. A brand new survival game that looks pretty incredible if I do say so myself. We're going to see what it's all about and that game is Project Castaway. So we're going to go straight in with a new game. We won't do hardcore yet, we'll see how this playthrough goes and then we'll see about doing a hardcore playthrough. We'll head straight into survival mode. This is James Alibury. I'm in the middle of a storm. My plane's instruments are failing. Radio, communications, jeep, all gone. But if anyone finds this, I need you to know why I'm here. I'm searching for my uncle, Seamus He was my hero. He worked as an on-site researcher and archaeologist for Morden Pole Inc., a company with a reputation that's as murky as the waters were flying. The last time we spoke, he told me he was heading to the site of the legendary Golden Horizon, a place that's shrouded in mystery and danger. I begged him not to go, but he felt he had no choice. I think Amos took that job because he felt responsible, like he had to take care of us. But now he's been missing for 14 months, he's giving me the runaround. The police have been no help either, so I've decided to take matters into my own hands. I found a set of coordinates in his home office, clues to where he might have gone. My plan was to start in the Caribbean and work my way to the Pacific, but now, I'm not so sure I'll make it. If this is the end for me, please, let it be known that Seamus Harry was a good man. He didn't deserve whatever happened to him, and if I don't make it, someone out there please continue the search here we are project castaway well that's an interesting uh, interesting start to say the least i guess we better head to the surface before we before we end up drowning well that was lucky to say the least well looks like looks like our seaplane is gone and that is a uh, quite a big shot so i think we just need to just swim swim for sure otherwise i don't think we're getting out of here very much alive it's a long way to go hopefully we can make it this shark is still chasing me no okay good yeah it looks like we've made it safely to shore and here we are okay so first things first like any survival game we just need to grab a whole load of resources but not sure we need the sign much but we do need some small sticks so we'll, we'll grab some small sticks just grab everything small that we can grab so first part protocol is to sort out somewhere to take shelter and sleep and obviously we need food as well so I think we're definitely going to need a few things oh okay so we can throw stones and get stone shards that's fair enough i'll pick those up got a few of those broken cabinet hello i like money um oh it's a little crap there so open channel would be craft a stone axe and wield it okay so it looks like we've got quite a bit to explore on this island already definitely a lot of debris lying around so there should be plenty of resources to go ahead and get ourselves situated to say the least. Yeah, some of you may have realised that I haven't got a face cam on this video. And that's pretty much because I'm having some technical difficulties with it. So apologies for that. But hopefully we should have one back up and running very soon. Okay, so let's craft our stone axe. Okay, so so far I do like this. This reminds me very much of uh, Green Hell and sort of the forest. So that's pretty good to see. It looks like we need a stone axe first of all. We need shards, rope, small sticks. You could probably do a hammer as well. That might be a good idea. Might as well craft a hammer as well while we're here. Perfect. Okay, so we can switch between the two, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and chop down a palm tree. I'm guessing this is just a tutorial to start with, so we'll go ahead and get this tutorial done. Doesn't, oh. There we go. I was going to say, it seemed like it was taking a pretty long time to do that. We'll drop these down here for now. Oh, where did them bananas go? Them bananas might come in handy. There we go. Food resource it is. So let's go ahead and chop this palm tree down. It looks like we have got durability on our tools as well. So looks like that's going to run out very quickly, but that's not too bad. Okay, let's grab these and we'll drop these down here as well. At least we know where they are. So we're making good progress with some resources. We just want to get something set up so we can get some food going and get a good night's sleep so i think this little tool, tortoise is going to be a good idea to acquire this one for some food once we get it all set up in a while can we actually get anything with it or not definitely taking the durability down a bit there we go okay so hold turtle turtle shell this have we got some raw meat as well so that's pretty good so i think we should definitely have our turtle shell Normally in these games, they're used for water collectors, so definitely good having one of those. So let's drink some liquids. Coconuts are a good source of liquids, but you can also place a sliced coconut shell or turtle shell on the ground in order to collect rainwater. The machine option is available in your backpack when you hover over an item. Okay, so we carry this and we place it down. 
just there on the floor um, that should collect rainwater so that's pretty good and we're also going to grab this cloth over here and let's see uh, what stuff that we can actually build let's open our inventory first of all so we can see what this is all about oh okay so we've got little tabs here we've got two lots of the inside inventory which is pretty good i've also got some of this as well so i guess we better drink some orange juice to get our refreshment up so we'll drink that and we might as well eat some bananas as well and we'll get our hunger up and that looks like it's increasing quite nicely so that's good so i guess now we just need to get our stone hammer and start building we need some sort of campfire or something for now but let's see how this all sort of works so we've got a metal elevated platform wooden elevated platform okay and what else have we got we've got walls walls with doors stairs doors yeah so pretty much all the basics that we're going to need so i think setting up camp kind of here might be a good idea to start with i mean anyway it's got to be pretty good for now looks like we've got some stairs over there that might go up that way somewhere but let's go ahead and get to this kind of sorted we'll get some basic foundations down we'll sort of get some sort of building and plan together so we'll go for that and i think what we'll do is go ahead and get some walls down what we might do is go for this the wooden wall with the windows i think we'll have a nice bit of um sightseeing going along so we'll get one that we'll get one there that should be good and then what we can do is get one with a door and then we'll just get the rest of the walls all sorted is something attacking me oh yeah a wasp is attacking me i was wondering what that was okay i hit it with the hammer i don't think i can hit that with the hammer or by the axe well this is difficult to hit yeah that will do hornet well we got rid of the hornet so that's one thing less to worry about and let's finish getting these walls up and we'll see what resources we need to build all of this okay so it looks like it does tell us the overall amount of resources we need to build i think which i like at least we don't have to try and work it all out which is pretty good and i think we'll place that can we place another one down here maybe that uh, doesn't look like we can well that's a little bit annoying but we should be able to walk up those stairs pretty easily hopefully if not we might be able to do this over here we can get a little raised platform here is that going to work or is that just going to be a bit weird yeah i think that's just going to be a little bit weird oh, we'll leave that for now okay so we also need a roof as well but i think what we'll do is we'll get it down so i'm going to go chop in some trees and then we'll go ahead and get this place finished okay so we've got the foundations built i'm quite a way off and i keep getting attacked by this i'm guessing it's a quino dragon or something yeah i need to find some groups to be able to craft another axe so that's a little bit of a problem but we're gonna see if we can find some group lying around oh what's this a bottle notes view notes in journal okay let's go ahead and see if we can read this note then my whereabouts is over here bottled note okay so letter from missing cargo ship to who it may concern my name is David Carter and I was the first mate on the cargo ship Ocean Voyager. We set sail with a full load of goods, everything from electronics to clothing, even some crates of exotic fruit. We were making our way across the Pacific when a storm hit. It came out of nowhere, fierce and unforgiven. The waves were like mountains and the wind howled like a banshee. We tried to steer through it but it was no use. The ship was tossed around like a toy and before we knew it we were sinking. Packages and crates were scattered everywhere, floating away into the vast ocean. Okay, so there's quite a lot to read here. If you did want to pause the video and read through, feel free. But I think we need to try and find where this um, missing cargo ship is. So if you're reading this, maybe there's still a chance for rescue. But for me, I hope it's dwindled in flame. I'm not sure how much longer it's burning. Okay, so I'm definitely running low on hunger as well. So we definitely need to get some sort of fire look fire going i have been poisoned as well i think i got poisoned by that there so we're gonna stay well away from that we're gonna try and get some food on the go oh coconut there we'll definitely take that coconut we'll definitely take these palm leaves as well definitely need to get a fire going so let's go ahead and see what we need to start building a fire so let's go back into here and fire making five small sticks we can do that i'm very very slowly dying or very quickly dying shall we say have we got anything in our backpack that can save us right about now i really hope we have i don't think we've got much in here to be honest that we can use got loads of random stuff see what happens if we try and eat some raspberries so far it's not looking good we've been poisoned and i don't think i'm going to be surviving among the looks like i yeah i think this is the end already so so far we've not very good oh, well. 
there we go i guess that's a very very bad start i guess we'll have to restart so here we are on our second attempt and i've noticed that we are somewhere different we're on a different island which i kind of like actually i kind of like that you can spawn on islands as each person has a unique experience which is pretty cool so this is where we're going to start our adventure from now on then because the last attempt wasn't so successful so we need to find a small stick or something along them lines anyway and we need to plan our beginning little section slightly different i think because it didn't go too well for us the last time but here we are we should be good to go and we are going to need some of these anyway so we'll just smash these down on the floor definitely going to need that at all oh we've got ginger plants over here okay also got some other rocks so we need to find a small stick or something from over here so well we've got stone here we'll smash that and grab those stones hopefully there's a small stick around here somewhere that we can have definitely taking the coffee plant okay seems like we've got a few different resources over here than we did at the last start there we go we found the stick oh bug repellent that might come in handy and we'll take that cloth as well we've got some other washed up stuff here as well but that's fine so we need to find a stone and smash it to receive some shards we've already done that but we'll do it for the purpose of it asking us to do so so let's go ahead we'll get a um stone axe all done i think what we'll do is we'll get the stone hammer crafted as well and where did that turtle go so we need this turtle it's going to be key for collecting rainwater so we'll just spend a little bit of time getting this turtle also give us some food definitely takes the durability out of your axe pretty quickly but needs must so we're going to grab this turtle shell and we're going to pick somewhere to set up a small little base well, i think here would be pretty good we've got ginger and we've got coffee and so i think here would be a pretty good place to set up a little camp i think so that's what we're going to do so yeah just here over on this little opening seems like a good idea so if we're just going to pop this down we're going to get our hammer out and we're going to do things a little bit differently so what we're going to do is just get a few foundations down i think a few foundations we want them are pretty close to some trees as well which should make things pretty easy okay and what we're going to do is we're going to get some basic walls i will like to put some windows down as well at some point we'll worry about that after our extra ability is not going to be the greatest to start with so we won't go too mad we are going to need some stairs to get up with so we'll pop those there okay so now we're just gonna grab our axe we're gonna get our wood and get this built okay so we've got most of it all done our stone axe has unfortunately run out of durability and we need rope so we need to find a way to make rope but first of all i think what we need to do is we need to craft a campfire so we're going to go ahead and just do this basic little fire i think for now we'll get this one done and we need to go ahead and grab some more stones to make the slightly better one so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get that done so we're going to add some sticks and uh, we've got long sticks over here can we make these into small sticks maybe is there a way to do that can we get a hammer and break these possibly it doesn't seem to be doing much with the hammer so okay i don't think that's working very well let's go ahead and see if we can find some small sticks there must be some along here on the shoreline somewhere hopefully so see what else we can find along the shoreline as well oh is that crashed plane over there oh that's definitely going to be worth exploring once we've got ourselves back on track or some pellet now that'll be good might as well grab this cloth as well so yeah small sticks i'm looking for predominantly we'll just grab anything we really come across a small stick we need two more so one more small stick so there we go we've got our small sticks might as well just explore this area a little bit we'll potentially grab some more we've also got a stone here as well so we'll grab that and we will take that back with us um, if we get really desperate with some food we have got some coconuts so we can just eat those if we need to i would like to oh dear them things are what killed us last time so we're going to stay well away from them we're going to try and get back to base safely and hopefully we'll get a little campfire set up get some food on the go get our health and everything replenished and then i think we should check out that plane hopefully there'll be some decent resources in there so we're going to pop this stone down for now and we're just going to add this so let's start fire okay so press f quickly to start the fire okay oh yeah we've got really that quickly can we do it yeah we should have this there we go 
Okay, so we've got seven minutes. Yeah, seven and a half minutes. Well, seven minutes of game time. Obviously, seven hours sort of there. So let's work out how this works then. So we need to go tab, go into our food maybe. Do we just drag it over into our fire potentially? Does that work like that? I'm not sure if that's cooking or, or what that's doing, to be honest. Maybe this is a little bit too big. Let's drink our orange juice anyway to start with and we'll see what else we have so we have some coconuts we will eat this coconut that should give us a little bit of health to replenish i'll try and work this out how this actually works i don't know Bruh. is that cooking like that or is it not cooking like that i don't think that is cooking like that i'm pretty sure we're going to need some stones have something a bit a bit bigger maybe but we have got another coconut here so we'll grab this coconut yeah i think what i'm gonna have to do is go ahead and get some stones so we'll get rid of this fire first hopefully it gives us our sticks back if not we'll have to find somewhere we we'll get some stones it does okay that's pretty good so we've got two stones there and if we're going to craft the menu we do need six stones so we'll get this built over here we'll do it up here for now uh, yeah so there are sections there to cook meat on so we're going to go ahead and pop that we do also want to build a bed quite possibly um, i think that's going to be a good thing to do um, we've got medicine over here so shelters and beds okay palm bed or elevated bed we're going to need rope so how do we go about making rope can we find something we can use to be able to make is that possible so farming we've got farming patches utility water collector okay so tile shelf that's also going to need rope oh okay so craft yucca leaves into rope spinning wheel so metal sheet which we have one of and a load more small sticks okay so we're definitely going to need one of these that's for sure we'll pop that there we'll just have to gather some small sticks we have a hornet there so we better go ahead and put some bug repellent on i think apply okay so there we go so at least we don't have to worry about the bugs for now our energy levels and everything are pretty low as well so it might be worth I'm dropping these for now it might be worth just getting a sort of small bed built for now it is raining as well which is definitely not good so we're just going to put our palm bed just here for now i think and we've got a load of these palm leaves so we'll just pop those on pretty sure there's some more lying around here from all the trees that i've cut down yeah so at least we can get some sleep if we need to so we're going to pop that down there we go so we need six stones and we need five small sticks and then we also need quite a few small sticks as well but we can carry more than one stone which is pretty good so i'll put those down there i think we should just eat some coconuts as well i think and um, see what we've got over here so, oh we've got stones over here that's pretty good there are some more stones can i pick this one well? so we can pick up three stones can we go for four um, no we can't but at least i know there's another stone there so we should be able to get this campfire built pretty quickly hopefully so so definitely need to get some rope on the go though because there we go okay so we need one more stone and then we can cook ourselves a decent meal i'm gonna pick up these small sticks as well oh, there we go there was a load of small sticks over here which is good we can grab all of these and all this cloth as well so it should be good can't remember how many small sticks we need for the spinning wheel but it's over here and then we just need to find the correct leaves to use which is the next thing we need to do add material stone this not letting us put stone ah there we go okay so how many sticks do we need for this we are going to we've got all of that well we have got a metal sheet down here so we'll grab this metal sheet we'll put that on and then we just need some sticks to go for this spinning wheel so we'll go ahead and put that in we need four more small sticks and that's all we need so hopefully there is some down here hopefully we don't have to travel too far for them and we've got sign we've got stones here more stones i think we should smash this one get some more stone shards probably always good to have some stone shards on us and we've got our turtle over here that we unfortunately have to had to unalive for some food definitely struggling to find some sticks now but at least the rain stopped or it's stopping anyway at least but there's got to be some sticks around here somewhere surely or we have one here okay any more over here no but we've got another turtle over here that's more stones oh there's a stick here oh we've got a broken laptop over here it looks like we're coming to the end of the beach here which is probably not always a good thing that means we've run out of room to look for some resources but we have got more bug repellents more sticks i'm okay we've got another broken cabinet what's this here oh a yucca tree we need this but we need an axe and i need an axe to make i need an axe but to make the axe i need rope and for the rope i need the yucca tree but apparently i can't 
get the yucca tree because I need rope. So we're in a bit of a dilemma here, aren't we? But we're going to see what we can do anyway. We're going to see if we can overcome this. Hopefully we'll find some rope. What we could do is get, get the campfire going. We'll try and get a nice meal. We'll get some sleep. And I think we should check out that plane. So we keep getting attacked by some hornet or some girl. We definitely need to try and make a weapon of some sort. That's not good. That's a kimono dragon that we don't want to go anywhere near. Have I just completely ran past my base? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. I ran completely past it. I was too worried looking at my inventory for some sort of weapons craft. But here we are. Anyway, so let's go ahead and let's start this fire. Get this fire going. Well, that's a task in itself. That is just to get the fire going. So anyway, where are we? So we need some meat. Let's grab some meat over here. Get this cooked. We should be good and full health. We're going to apply some bug repellent as well. So that's good. And we'll just wait for this to cook. Cooked meat. Cooked meat. And that one's cooked as well. So that's pretty good. So now we can go ahead and eat this cooked meat. Make sure our stomachs are nice and full. We're going to eat this. Oh, that definitely makes a big difference to our hunger. Might as well eat this other coconut as well. We might as well just eat these coconuts. We'll just get fully replenished, I think. There we go. So what I do want to do as well is let's look at our weapons and see what we can craft at the moment. So I've got crafting level two is a granite knife, but a stone knife. Stone knife will do it for now. At least we can kind of defend ourselves and also get a couple of crabs if we need to. Or even a little scorpion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got the scorpion and we've got some crabs over here. Let's get some more crabs, some more food for the morning. Oh, that difficult to hit, that's for sure. Okay, crab, crab body. That seems good. We'll get this one as well. That should be our food for the morning. And then we can get some sleep and we'll head over to that plane just over there. Hopefully there's some goodies in there. But it's definitely nighttime as well. So now would be a good time to sleep and replenish. So we're going to go ahead, get some shot eye. We're definitely going to save it, that's for sure. Um, so save one, that's good. Um, sleep for six hours. Or should we go for a nice eight hour sleep? I think a nice eight hour sleep will be good. We've had a pretty traumatic experience. So I think that's probably the best thing to do. Okay, so time to get up. We are nice and refreshed. We should, yeah, I think we should cook up some crab quite nicely. That should make sure our health is nice and full. And hopefully, oh yeah, hopefully our turtle shell has actually collected some rainwater for us to drink. So that'll be a good start to the morning as well. This is very difficult to do, that is. So let's go ahead and get some crabs cooked up before our timer runs out. So we've got some crab meat over here. We'll just pop that down there. My crab arms, can we put them down as well? Um, we can, perfect. Okay, that should give us a little bit of food to keep us going for a little bit longer. Nearly done, we've got seven minutes left. We'll grab those, grab that. I don't think the crab was cooked properly, but it shouldn't be too much of a worry. We're gonna go ahead and that kimono dragon is really very close to us. I really don't like the look of it. So we're gonna eat this cooked crab body. We're just gonna move away from this. We are gonna drink this though. So we're gonna drink this, make sure we're quite fully replenished. That is good, okay. So we're gonna go around this way because I really don't wanna go anywhere near that mono dragon. Definitely not good news. So we're gonna head up this way and, oh, the turret tree. Well, we can destroy it with a knife, which is very good. And we'll pick this up. I'm not sure what this Jura flower is for, but we're gonna use it at some point, hopefully, once we figure it out. Can't really see much over here, but hopefully we find some interesting stuff. Definitely struggling to find anything though. What's this? We have a lavender plant. Okay, some lavender. Probably used for some sort of medicine, possibly. And um, let's see what else we have over here. Oh, a sticky note. A view note from journal. I think we'll do that very shortly once we know we're kind of safe. I'm not overly convinced this is a very safe place to be. But we can get in. Okay. Oh, a blueprint. What have we found? Double-sided axe. Very nice. Okay. Can't really explore much else in here. Um, so that's a bit anticlimactic, unfortunately. Um, can I get out? Maybe? Oh, I can't get out. Does that mean, is this some sort of bug or something? I just can't get out of here at all. Well, that's not a good start. Can I get out this way? Maybe? No? Okay. I don't really want to load my save because it doesn't matter too much. I don't think we're that far away, so I think that might be have to be the option okay so i did have to reload the game so that's uh, another little bug that i i will be reporting that to the devs hopefully they can put that in a fix but we're going to head back over to this plane we're going to grab that blueprint because i think that blueprint was a good one with the double-sided axe definitely worth getting i think and then all we need to do is hopefully i'm going to head back to those 
trees that we sort of found. Oh, we needed to read this sticky note as well, didn't we? So I'm going to head back to the, them yakka trees, was it? I think. I'm apparently I'm tired and I need sleep, but I've just woke up from a sleep. Or maybe I haven't. Oh, okay. So I need to head back and get some sleep. But at least we've done that. We've got the blueprint and we have the sticky note as well. So we'll get some sleep and then we'll read this sticky note and see what this sticky note was all about. Maybe it's a little uh, collectible or something a bit more to do with the story. And then I think we should go ahead and get these yucca plants and get some rope so we can get another axe. Oh my god, what was... Did I just take some insane amount of fall damage then? I think I just did. That definitely was not good. Okay, let's get some sleep. So we're going to sleep for eight hours and hopefully we should be nice and refreshed in the morning. Okay, so six o'clock, we're going to save it again. So that is good. Yep. And we're going to get up round about there. Should be nice and sunny in the morning. And we're just going to try and find some more sticks as well. We need two more small sticks. Oh, I wonder if we can use this knife to destroy these. And yes, it does give us small sticks. I thought it would do, to be honest with you. Just um, struggling a little bit there. And I think we'll drink this water. Should be nice and good. So let's go ahead and hopefully use our stone knife to destroy these yakka trees. And we've got ginger here as well. Can't do anything with those. But we have just discovered it by hitting it, which is a very interesting and definitely handy to know though. So we'll do that. Oh, we've got copper ore here and tin ore. Oh, we've got copper and tin. So some smelting for some weapons as well. That's very interesting. Okay, we've got another another tortoise over here. Definitely want this. Oh, there's another one there as well potentially take these shells back with us okay so we've got the turtle there oh that was a hornet that was a good good quick little bit of reaction now definitely got some meat here might as well get rid of this one as well the more meat the better we will be we definitely need food in this place oh we've reached level three in melee as well it's pretty good our stamina is running pretty low though that's okay durability on a knife is doing pretty good as well so that's good we could potentially take these back with us but i think we'll drop them here for now yeah we can only carry one at a time so we'll leave those there for now we'll get these yakka plants done there's three of them here so that should give us a fair bit of rope can we can we hit these with a knife the hitbox is a little bit dodgy but yeah we should be able to get plenty of leaves from these which is I should give us plenty of rope definitely something that seems to be hard to come across at the moment but we're going to grab this rope there we go and we're going to get rid of this one as well there we go we should have quite a lot of rope now i'm not sure how many leaves it takes one but i think we should be pretty good okay so we've got that sticky note to read as well when we get back but i'm going to take one of these shells back with me just so we can make another a, actually a decent water collector now we have some rope we should be able to make one of those i think I think it did require rope but at least we know we've got some copper and some tin here or some smelting as and when we get to that in the game i assume that's going to be a thing as they are there so we also have the coffee plant over there as well okay so here we are back at base so hopefully we can get some more logs dropped down we can um, carry on building our base up so let's go ahead and do this so we hold the spin pick up rope hold the spin okay let's just see how much rope we can actually get from this then okay so i can't actually see the rope in the inventory but apparently we have got some i can see a load of cloth but i can't really see the rope but apparently we have got some because we can use it for crafting so what we're going to do is chop up these for some small sticks there we go we've got some small sticks to hand so now we can go ahead and we can craft our stone so we're going to get that done we'll probably need a couple actually but what i'm going to do is we're going to basically i want to cancel that and this wall apparently <laughs> didn't really mean to do that but okay we can do that but what i want to do is move this here so start building and see if we can cancel this and move that or do we need to destroy that and do it again by the looks of it i think that's what we need to do so what i'm going to do is destroy this and then rebuild it i guess because i think that's what we need to do stone hammer for this i just wanted to expand the foundations and then we're going to get all this built up okay so there is our little shelter near enough built just got some more of the roof to do we've got some more turtle shells as well ready for our rainwater collectors we are looking a little bit hungry so i definitely need to sort out a decent um, food resource but i think so far that will do for the first episode i'm thoroughly enjoying 
enjoying this game so far definitely a lot to learn it is kind of difficult to keep all your stats up as well as obviously do the exploring and everything else like that but hopefully in the next episode we should be a bit more set up and a bit more well equipped so i'm going to try and work out a decent food resource and everything else but yeah if you are looking liking the look of this game make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe as well for more content it's been quick right here hopefully i'll see you in the next video